Good morning, Sila Wolves. Welcome to Wolf TV, a production of Sila Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sila family. I am Trinity. Joseph Jonathan. Happy Wednesday, February 8th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Now for the weather. Hi, Sila Wolves. It's 48 degrees and cloudy right now. This afternoon, it will be 68 degrees and partly cloudy. Now back to our house. Thanks for the weather update. Now let's see what's on the lunch menu for today. Today's lunch options are Italian hoagies, vegetable juice, ba baby carrots with ranch dip, and a variety of fruits. Now back to our hoags. Guess what? What? It's riddle time! Great. Riddle time is next. Riddle, riddle, riddle time. Riddle time. Riddle time. Hi, guys. Are you ready for the riddle today? Listen carefully. What occurs once a minute? Twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. I'll say it again slower. What occurs once a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. I'll be back tomorrow with the answer. Now back to our host. We have another segment for Black History Mom. This week, we're celebrating National Heroes. This week, we are celebrating National Heroes. Today, we have a segment about Rosa Parks. My name is Natalia, and I'm in sixth grade in Miss Waters class. Today, I'm presenting Rosa Parks. The story of Rosa Parks proves that one brave person really can change the world. She was born on February 4, 1913. In 1932, she married Raymond Parks, a barber. She became a seamstress on December 1, 1955. She was riding the bus home from work. The, the driver moved the sign for the black section in the back of the bus to make more room in front for white passengers. He asked Ms. Park, Mrs. Parks, to move back, she refused. When she was arrested, the black community started a boycott that put an end to separate sections on buses and trains. Later on, Parks joined the NAACP. She served as secretary from the Montgomery chapter until 1956. She also received many awards for her courage and service. Parks died in Detroit on October 24, 2005. Now for birthday celebrations. Good morning, Sea Wolves. We're so sorry about what happened yesterday with our technical difficulties. So let's celebrate both yesterday and today's birthdays. Yesterday we had four birthdays. Happy birthday to the following students. Aiden in Ms. Ferrer's class, Bradley in Mr. Ms. Anderson's class, Sophia in Ms. Chavez's class, Emery in Ms. Castro's class, and today we have Zadia in Ms. Anderson's class. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy birthday! Today's positive affirmation is... I can make a difference. Today's 8A in middle school. And it's an early release day! I am Trinity. Yo soy Jonathan. Have a great day, Sheila Wolves. See you later, Alligator. Oh!